Today I'm going to share seven tips for lead generation on LinkedIn that's going to prevent you from burning through prospects and getting more quality leads onto phone calls each and every single month. How's it going? Ryan Casal from B2Bleads.com, business to business lead generation, marketing, and sales strategies. And today I wanted to share seven key tips to generating more leads on LinkedIn. Now, before I get into this, I really want to make something very clear. The assumption that I'm gonna make before you sort of get into this video and understand whether these tips are actually gonna help you are uh, two cool things. First of all, that you have a service that is of value and helps your potential clients, and you actually have a potential market that exists on LinkedIn that both needs and wants your service and your LinkedIn profile and your website is set up to resonate with this target market. It identifies the who and the problem that you solve, not the what you do and how you do it. That's far less important than the who and the problem. That's really what we wanna focus on here. But that's, uh, that's a story for another video. And today I want to share of course those seven tips to help you generate more leads on LinkedIn using LinkedIn's Messenger application. So the first tip I wanted to share with you today is keep it casual. So we can all smell that salesy marketing copy a mile away and LinkedIn is a place for you know being professional so when you reach out to people you try to start conversations don't go into this uh, real typical salesy marketing copy that we can all, like I said, smell a mile away. Keep it casual, keep it friendly, and really understand the value that you provide. Which leads me into point number two, get people to connect with you based on your value. It's really important that we get people to connect with us, not just for networking purposes or because LinkedIn suggested or because, hey, I looked at your profile and you look like a really special guy. No one's buying that. Connect people with people, get them to connect with you based on the value that you bring. Cause that's gonna really help you set the tone of the conversation and progress it into a call faster and prevent you from having useless conversations that go nowhere and annoying people on LinkedIn. Tip number three, where possible, name and value drop. So what I mean by name and value drop is if you work with reputable big brands, big companies that people in the industry know, or you've delivered some pretty amazing results, name and value drop, because they're very tangible things that people can connect with the value. So we wanna do it subtly, we don't wanna you know, list a three page sales deck in the messages, but if you can fit it into the conversation naturally, which is a challenge, I, I am aware of that and I can help you with that if, if you wanted to put it in the comments below and get some advice, but try and squeeze some sort of credibility building through um, name dropping or value dropping, talking about things that you've done in the past, just so people can make some connection, some realistic connection to the value that you can provide. So saying that you increased someone's profit by you know, $100,000 over three months is better than saying you help um, increase business profitability because it is specific. Specificity really helps. Fourth tip, keep it short. Three to five sentences max in your messages on LinkedIn. You don't wanna go on and on because people won't read it. And the bigger it is, the less likely they are to read it and they're just gonna ignore it. So keep it short and sweet. And which brings me to my next point, focus on one specific outcome for the message. You don't wanna send them links to here and there, and you wanna get engagement before you send people links. And what I mean by that is you don't say, hey, here's a link to a webinar or here's a link to a resource. Ask someone if they actually want the resource first. What this does is first of all, you get engagement, which means it can then snowball into something more meaningful. And it tells you who actually has interest and where to focus your more manual nurturing efforts moving forward. And that is in fact, actually my next point, point number six, is that snowball effect. You don't wanna reach out to people and start you know, proposing on the first day and say, hey, let's jump on a call. You wanna sort of get that, first of all, that buy-in on the connection message, getting them to connect with the value, finding out if they have the interest. So getting a yes, no answer on interest, and then suggesting um, a call or something of that nature. We want yes, 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 before you just 
throw people a link and hope that they're gonna send it. And now my seventh and final point, which I touched on very briefly before, is nurture, nurture, nurture. This is where most people leave money on the table because it's hard to do, it's hard to track. Well, at least it is for most people unless you have a systemized way to follow up and engage with people. Sometimes you need to nurture relationships to get those touch points in. It can be years, but if you have a systemized approach to follow people up, you're gonna get a lot more leads through the door. Truth is a very small percentage of people have the problem, know they have the problem and are ready to jump on a call straight away. And so you wanna make sure you have an approach to follow up all those people who say, not at the moment. And believe me, it pays dividends later on, so long as you have the means to follow up and nurture those relationships. So that's it, seven tips to generate more leads on LinkedIn. I hope that's been helpful. As always, have a great day. Cheers. Hey, thanks for watching. Of course, you can always learn more at b2bleads.com. And of course, like, subscribe, all that usual stuff really helps the channel out a long way. So thanks again, hope you enjoyed and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers.